Yo, what's up beautiful people? It's Instantman here. Today we are going to learn, how to create trendy cross animation with After Effects, in the easiest way. This animation trend may become a trend in 2021. Because I think it's dope when you join some other elements with the same method. And it gives an urban street kind of vibe. Enough for the hype, this video is coming up right now. Let's make a new composition and give that a name. I am using 1920 by 1080 resolution and 60 FPS. And set a 10 seconds time. Hit OK. I am going to import the cross design, that I have made previously. Drag the cross into the timeline. Hit S on your keyboard to reveal the scale properties. Click this stopwatch icon to set up a keyframe. Grab the scale keyframe and move that few frames ahead. Then again go a few frames ahead and make the scale bigger, it will create another keyframe automatically. As you can see, it will have a basic scale up animation. But we don't want a basic animation, we want a pro level, high quality, trendy, dope, masterpiece kind of scale animation. Now select both of the keyframes right click on any keyframe and select toggle hold keyframe. As you can see there is a stop motion kind of look in the animation. It will look cooler when you add more keyframes in the animation. Also keep the keyframe closer to the first keyframe because in that case, you will have a fast ongoing animation. After that let's add another keyframe by scaling up the size a little bit more. At the end copy the very first keyframe and paste that at the end, so that the size will be restored to the original value. Now again select all the frames and hold ALT on your keyboard, then drag the last keyframe on the left side. I think it will be a great thing if you see the animation in two more keyframe options. So again select the keyframes and select the toggle hold keyframe option. It will turn into a linear keyframe. This keyframe method gives the basic animation. But if you press F9 on your keyboard or select the Easy Ease option, it will make the animation smooth as fuck. But to achieve that you need to do some hard work. Select the keyframes and click this graph editor icon. It will bring a new editor to the timeline. If you don't see this kind of design then right click and make sure you are on the speed graph editor. Now select all the keyframe point and make a curve by dragging the yellow point and make a hill curve. Preview the animation and feel the smoothness. Ok now let's again move to the main animation of today's tutorial. Make a copy of the keyframes and paste that after some frames so that it will stay in a loop. Now we are going to do the same for the opacity as well. To enable the opacity properties hit T on your keyboard. Now repeat the same process as we have done for the scale animation. But after finishing the opacity keyframe placing, just place the opacity keyframes a little bit earlier than the scale keyframes. Now the last part. Rotation part. Press R on the keyboard and keep the cursor at the beginning and click the stopwatch icon. Then place the marker at the end and change the value to 1 instead of 0. Now select both of the keyframes and hit F9 or select the Easy Ease option, by doing that you will have a nice smooth animation. I mean, the speed of the rotation will increase gradually and also decrease gradually. Now for the last time preview the animation and play around with the keyframe position. Be creative with that, because, in my opinion, it may become a trend for 2021.
So, that's all for today. Hopefully, you will love the tutorial. If you do, a like will be appreciated, don't forget to subscribe and slap that bell icon. Also, comment down below what do you want in my next video. I am Instantman, and I will catch you in the next one. Till then, take care, stay creative, keep creating. Peace.